Yo, 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 what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy, The Wolf of Crypto, here bringing you guys another video today. Uh, I actually got another pro call for y'all built on Solana's blockchain. We're going to be looking at Orca here today. Uh, <laughs> very similar to Radium, um, but uh, I found something that's pretty interesting. The reason why I'm kind of excited is because, again, Atlas, Polis, they're on here. So two more tokens that, you know, obviously you guys know I'm a big fan of. And then also too found another way to be able to actually get this Orca token as well. So uh, again, you're gonna need your Solana wallet. Again, this is built on Solana's blockchain. Uh, again, you come here, connect your wallet and I'll just do the extension, connect, boom, boom. Now that we're connected and you can exchange on here as well. So if you wanna do any type of swaps, um, any, any anything out of your Solana wallet. So any Solana tokens, you'll be able to do that here. Um, you'll also be able to do this little stable swap. So if you wanna do any swapping with stable coins, you're able to do that as well. But the pools, right? Um, their pools are pretty nice. Um, and we'll start with the regular pools here, as you guys can see. We got all your pulls, your liquidity, double dip, and deprecated. Um, current price of Orca right now is at eleven dollars and fifty cents. Uh, as you can see, the total value locked is almost a billy. It's almost a billy. It's almost there, right? Twenty-four hour volume, sixty-five emmies. That's not too shabby. Almost sixty-six, right? Um, so these are the different farms that you can provide liquidity, and you'll earn. You see that both orca so you'll be earning the token and a share of the trading fees this is exciting stuff here again i am new when it comes to providing liquidity um because for me i just felt like going through some of these different protocols because there's so many just depending on which blockchain you're on it's a little nerve-wracking just for the fact that you know providing liquidity is a little bit risky right it is risky obviously due to price and all other little attributes and things like that and nature that kind of goes into that. Um, but this, between this and radium, I figured, you know, that just be my little, little test pilot uh, as far as being comfortable providing liquidity. Because again, you know, this, all this stuff right here is risky, you guys. You know, I'm not a financial advisor by any means. So again, I'm doing all this knowing that there's a risk, right? But you can kind of get an idea of how much Urca you'll earn per day for per each a thousand that you provide liquidity for, and then keep an eye out on this the double dippers. The double dippers is where it's at here, folks, and that's why I'm really excited <laughs> to uh, provide some liquidity as far as Atlas and Polis goes because you know why they're part of the double dippers. And I provide some already. Um, definitely gonna be trying to provide at least, this is just my personal um, number as far as being able to provide liquidity. I'm trying to provide at least like about 2K on each, so maybe like about 4,000 in total. Just by doing some of the numbers, I figured, hey, at least I know if I do do that type of investment, it's gonna take this amount of time to initially get that back. Uh, so that's something that, again, I'm willing to really, really try this out with. Um, so obviously, as far as an orca per day, you'll be looking at, you know, almost, what, about a dollar and some change, maybe close to two dollars and some change per day on orca. So probably what, after maybe what, five to seven days, you'll probably have one full orca. And that's just from this side, right? Let's actually go with the, the double dippers here, folks. The double dippers. Hoo hoo. This is where it gets exciting. Exciting, exciting. This is why, again, really excited about not just the Project Star Atlas, but finding different ways to obviously get more accumulation as far as coins, but being able to actually get some experience providing liquidity um, onto protocols and kind of figuring out, you know, how does it work? Because like I said before, every protocol is different. Um, 
yes, there might be some similarities, but actually figuring out how to function and narrow your way or say navigate your way through this uh, it always helps. And the fact that, again, look at the APRs here, folks. The APRs is what is so attractive uh, to, at least for me, to provide some liquidity. And then look at this. It's only going to be until, what is that, March 10th of next year. And, I'm belie and I believe that's when this particular pool closes. So for me, I'm like, well, I got until March to obviously try to take advantage of this particular uh, liquidity pool. And again, this is all good stuff just for the fact that the game's not out yet, folks. So if you're able to <laughs> obviously earn some more tokens just by providing a little liquidity. Like I said, I'm not saying you have to provide a lot. Everybody's, you know, amount's going to be different, obviously. Depends on what you're most comfortable with. As far as me, I got my number. That's what I'm probably going to put in. And then really see how it goes. Because again, the fact that I'm able to have an idea of how much Atlas and Pulse I'll be earning every day just based off of these numbers. It's, like I said, it's pretty... For me, it's just like, man, I want more and I want more and I'm going to put more in here to get more. Because as soon as I harvest these Atlas tokens, guess where they're going? They're going back to either my wallet or then portion of them I might reinvest or I might take some of these and go put in another pro call. Who knows? But um, Solana has been, I would say, one blockchain right now that I'm really trying to figure out different ways to obviously earn some of these tokens and earn more Solana. Um, and just like I said, just earn, earn, earn. This is what it's all about, right? So that's all I got right here as far as Orca. Again, these are the two tokens that obviously stand out for me. There's some other tokens on here as well that you're able to do. I think Ninja is another one that I might be looking at as well, just for the fact that this is also another project that's built on you guessed it, Salon's blockchain. So just doing some research, looking, finding different um, projects that are on these particular blockchains and protocols and be able to, like I said, take advantage of these high uh, yield returns because, you know, those could always fluctuate. As we know, um, APRs do fluctuate. So take advantage now before that number starts to dwindle. And also to take advantage of the current token prices because, uh, I remember Atlas and Polis, when they first got initially listed, uh, you know, they actually went on some boom stages and their prices were, you know, pretty, pretty high. So I think right now is a good advantage to take advantage of this and just put everything into to, uh, synchronization and have it working for y'all. I mean, like I said, this stuff is working daily here, folks. You don't really have to do anything except just really monitor prices, your liquidity. Maybe that's about it. But if you guys did find the content um, enjoyable, if you guys learned something, please leave a like, share a thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel, also hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell to be notified for future videos. Uh, but until the next time, y'all, take care.